I am seriously not with it today. I'm so tired. I would rather be in bed than at work. But who wouldn't on a Monday? I'm trying to avoid looking in the mirror at my body at all costs today. This whole week. I'm gonna have to avoid it, basically, because of it being that time of the month again. That's what I'm the hardest on my body and really don't like the way I look and I'm just gonna have to keep from looking at it. Today's a fasting day, which I'm grateful for. I still don't feel that great, so I'm gonna fill up my water bottle, maybe drink my coffee. I'm not even in the mood for that this morning. I'm trying to get through this day. Um, probably be pretty busy since I was out Friday. So I'll have a lot to do to keep me distracted from wanting to eat, but I have no desire to want to eat right now. I didn't even want to eat yesterday, but I did because knowing today was a fasting day, I wanted to be able to make sure that I would be able to get through today okay. And I could have switched my schedule around, but then I would have basically only been fasting like Tuesday and Thursday because we're having a get together this weekend and I was gonna eat on Saturday anyway, so it's fine. Gotta work out when I get home tonight. So hopefully I feel more awake and motivated to do that. But besides that, that's all I got for you guys this morning. I'll talk to you later on this afternoon. It feels like fall, sort of. I mean, it's probably like 78 degrees, but it's so nice. This is my kind of weather. A little bit chillier when you can start wearing the sweaters and the cute boots. I'm here for it. <laughs> I just got done working out. Had to do it pretty quickly. I didn't even really rest. And now I'm doing my cool down walk outside because today wasn't a running day. Thought about running when I got home, but I didn't want to get up early to work out tomorrow since I have things going on to work tomorrow. Kind of. <laughs> so I'll come home and I'll run tomorrow. Hopefully it's not raining and, um, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, just got done working out cool down walk go back and shower we're meeting with our videographer tonight for the wedding go over details about that whole thing and um that's all I have planned got a meal prep for tomorrow I've been okay food wise today definitely am bloated from my cycle um so that means it'll be starting here any day now hopefully and cramping all that good feminine stuff that all you males out there that watch my vlog love to hear but I document every day and that's just part of a woman's life my arm's getting really tired holding up my camera. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna sum it up right there and say, I'm gonna go back and shower, meal prep, talk with a videographer, make it through this fasting day with flying colors because I haven't been hungry at all. So that's all the positives I have for right now. Don't you guys love how my closet lights on? I'm currently going through it, trying to figure out what to wear to work tomorrow and I'm not having any look. So that's what I'm doing. I have a shirt downstairs that needs to dry but it's one that you have to like lay flat and let it dry. So I hope in the morning it's dry, which it should be, but it might be really wrinkled. And I don't have time to iron. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's why you just throw it in the dryer with a dryer sheet and go from there. That's how I do laundry. Who needs to iron? Made it through the day without eating, so that's good. We met with the videographer, which is great. We got all that sorted out. And I meal prep for tomorrow. Just doing another pretty simple, easy lunch. I'm um, doing my tuna with my wraps and lettuce. And I'm gonna add tomatoes to it this time. Yeah, I know. And then for breakfast, I'm doing my overnight oats. And I'm bringing in some cottage cheese and berries for a snack. I think tomorrow night for dinner, I'm gonna do this like biscuit chicken pot pie thing. It looked really good. So go from there. See what else I decide to snack on tomorrow because I'll probably wanna do more than. Um, what I'm bringing to work but we'll kind of see how distracted I am and if anything fills me up <laughs> I hope so anyway I don't know why I'm so excited to go to bed it's probably because I'm ready to get up so I can eat tomorrow which I'm not really hungry I haven't really been hungry today but um just an eat day sounds fun <laughs> so I'm gonna go to bed and all the good stuff and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning on a Tuesday on an eat day on a running day I'm feeling rather captainly today in my button-up trousers and my ribbon in my hair. I feel like I'm on a, some pirate ship and I'm a guy with long hair. Yep. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's an eat day. I'm so excited. I'm not hungry right now, which is good, but uh, I did bring overnight oats for breakfast, tuna with wraps for lunch, and then tonight I'm going to make a uh, chicken pot pie with biscuits excited about it. I am making an oath to myself that I'm not going to look at my body in the mirror the next
next week just to keep myself more positive. I think maybe if I put that into my mind, it'll be easier for me to not be so hard on myself if I just keep from picking myself apart, which I always do whenever I change or whatever and I don't want to do that, especially with what's getting ready to come up. Um, I don't want to look at myself during that time and just really hate my body. So I'm gonna try to avoid it as much as possible. I know I'm a little bloated today, not extremely, but you know, I didn't eat yesterday. And um, so I know my bloat's not from any type of food. <laughs> it's from that awful monthly visitor. I got a lot of work to do today. I don't really have too much to update you guys on this morning, except it feels like fall outside and I'm loving it. I think it was like 60 degrees. <sighs> Perfect. Uh, whenever I get off tonight, I gotta run, and hopefully it's not raining. I think my phone said it was supposed to rain, but that's my exercise for the day is running, so hopefully I can do that. I think today is gonna be a good day, or so I hope. Let's hope my mood and my mentality stays up, even though I'm tired and want to go back to bed. I'll talk to you guys later. What's the number one thing I did whenever I got home? If you guessed changed and then looked at my body in the mirror, you're right. It's gonna be a lot harder to break that habit than I thought. It's uh, kind of my obsession, is looking at my stomach, seeing if I'm bloated and all that stuff. And um, something I really need to not do this week, leading up to Aunt Flo. But I did it and now I'm mad at myself. For what though? For, for having a body? Like, I just, <laughs> I don't understand where I, rationalize my madness in my brain to actually be mad at myself for my body. Does that even make sense? I don't know. But as you guys can see, I'm home. I'm actually already in my workout clothes. I'm gonna go run today. It's so nice outside, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, today, eat-wise has been kind of rough in a way for me. I've snacked more than I wanted to, but I've been really hungry today. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that now that I'm lifting on my fasting days, my body is needing more on my eat days. So I'm wanting to eat like everything. It doesn't help that my coworker brought in these banana um, brownies, basically. It's kind of like banana bread, but made in a pan to be like a brownie. And then like they had this um, really freaking good brown sugar butter glaze stuff on top and they were not low in calorie of course um and a couple of those and then um i had my overnight oats which for some reason were super runny today and i think it's because i added in some of the skinny syrup to it last night it's pumpkin cheesecake i don't know if you guys can see it but um i added some of that into it and i think with that and the premier protein shake for whatever reason the oats and the chia seeds didn't really soak up the liquid as much as usual as if i would have just used almond milk but it was still good and then um between breakfast and lunch. I brought a caramel protein shake and I added that to another cup of coffee. Then whenever lunch came around, I realized that I forgot my tortillas. I forgot my tortillas here. So I wasn't able to use those to make um, my lunch with, so I just had to use lettuce and tuna, which wasn't very much, of course. And so of course afterwards, I still felt a little hungry. I finished off my um, pumpkin seeds that I had at work. I feel like I snacked more than normal, but whenever I think back on it now, I'm not really sure even what all I had. I think my biggest downfall was the brownies that my coworker brought in. Um, but right now I think I have like 700 and something calories left for the rest of the day. And that's after adding in what my full TDE is for the day. That's not adding in the 3,000 TDEE that would keep me under my 3,500 calorie deficit. That's just staying at my regular everyday maintenance TDEE if I was to eat every day, if that makes sense. But anyway, I gotta go run. And I'm gonna do that now so that way I can get home and I have all evening to do what I gotta do for dinner. I think instead of making this chicken pot pie thing that I wanted, I wanna cut back on um, like the higher carb stuff. And I think I'm going to just do some chicken with um, mayo, Parmesan, and mozzarella. I've not made it in a really long time, but it's super good. And I think I'm just gonna do that and make some sides to go with it to be healthier this evening. It'll be tasty and that's all that matters.
whatever I gotta do to get me through till Thursday. So I'm gonna let you guys go so I can get to it and I will talk to you later on this evening. So I kind of surprised myself with my run this evening. After I signed off with you guys earlier, I came home of course and changed and went for my run. I thought it was going to be like 2 miles, 2.8 miles, something. I wasn't really sure what it was going to be. But to my surprise, when I mapped it out on um, a what did I run app online basically, I went 3.44 miles. So it's longer than a 5k in under 36 minutes i might add so that was one reason too why i was thinking man i probably didn't go that far because you know i only went 36 minutes i'm used to going 38 and of course i didn't run the entire time i had to do my warm-up and my cool down and i walked for maybe 15 seconds at one point um you know just like stopping for cars and uh crossing streets and things like that being more cautious of my surroundings and everything but yeah i ran a really long time and i'm super proud of myself which is awesome I haven't ran that long outside without stopping before in 36 minutes that's a pretty short amount of time for me I was I was wowed after I ran though I showered and then uh, made dinner I made this really good cheesy parmesan chicken um, I've made it before in the past but it's been a while basically it's just chicken breast with mayo mixed with parmesan and then uh, mozzarella cheese melted on top I made that with some asparagus and cauliflower ginocchi ginocchi I listened to how it was pronounced a while ago and now I can't remember what it was but it was really good as well dinner was surprisingly lower calorie than I thought it was gonna be because of that I actually need to lower my calories again because I thought I was gonna have more asparagus than I did and I did not so I gotta lower my calories on that but then Ian and I did go and get Andy's frozen custard we haven't had it in a really long time and so that means I had the brownies earlier and then the frozen custard this evening but um, I'm surprised that I'm not more bloated than I am. And I think honestly that has to do with the fact that I'm under my 3,500 calorie a week deficit TDEE. And um, I didn't overindulge and eat a whole bunch of dinner, which I've been doing so much better at now that I'm being more mindful of it being like, I know that I'm full, I don't need to eat anymore. That has really helped the past week watching what I eat at dinner time knowing that I don't need to stuff myself because I'm already full. So I can definitely tell that I am getting better at listening to the signs of my body at dinner time, which is good. Hopefully make it through tomorrow fine. Like I said, I'm not nearly as bloated as I thought I was going to be. I always have a little bit of bloat after eating dinner anyway. I think just for it being my last meal of the day. And then of course, like I said, we did get the custard. So um, 
I'm not really sure 100% what my calorie count is, but I'll take my Bye Bye Bloat tonight and um, see what it's like tomorrow morning. So like I said, I also want to keep away from being obsessed with looking at my bloat in the mirror and zoning in on that every time I look in the mirror because that's the really the only thing that I look at. Um, and I, I really need to break that habit, so I'm still working on that. But it's a little after 9, I think, so I'm going to get ready for bed because I'm pretty tired. All that good stuff, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. It is Wednesday, my dudes. I'm not going to do the scream, like from that one vine or whatever that was years ago. Why'd they ever get rid of vine? So much better than TikTok. Half of you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, which means we're halfway through the week, so I'm trying to keep positive about that. Yesterday when I left, I didn't have too much crazy things that I had to do, so hopefully today is relatively easy for me, but we'll see. Today's a fasting day, so I have my coffee, my water. I don't look as bloated as I thought I was going to this morning, which, yes, means that I looked at my body in the mirror this morning, per usual. Um, but that's good. It makes me feel better about yesterday. And I think a lot of it has to do with the amount of food I ate throughout the day. Um, I mean, my calories were a little bit higher because of the banana brownies that I had yesterday. But my portion for breakfast was, you know, relatively smaller, about 288 calories for my vanilla protein oats that I made. I didn't have tortillas to bake wraps with for lunch, you know, and then besides that I just had some pumpkin seeds and um, I did have a brown rice cake at one point. I think I forgot to tell you guys that, that yesterday. And then for dinner I, you know, only had one serving of chicken instead of one and a half or two servings of chicken and then I had my asparagus and my cauliflower ginochi, however it's pronounced. So, I feel like that all was relatively small. And then of course we went and got ice cream last night, which was what I was afraid was gonna bloat me more than anything today. But I also have to keep in mind, my monthly cycle's about to start. So I'm just kind of waiting for that whole thing to happen. Cause once that happens, then I know I'll be like 10 pounds heavier and bloated and feel heavy and gross and all that great things that come with being a woman. So right now it's kind of like I'm just monitoring my mental health or trying to and keep away from looking at my body and picking it apart when I look in the mirror. Kind of like what I told you guys yesterday as well. Sorry if all that's like TMI for everybody who listens, but in a way I want to be able to express to my lady followers that even I worry about my bloat during that time of the month because of what I'm doing. I'm afraid mentally, I'm afraid that I'm gaining weight back when that's not the case. It's just something that happens. It's nature, natural, you know, all that good stuff. I'm gonna let you guys go so I can go get to work and stop rambling. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later on this afternoon. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys. Today has been kind of a struggle if I'm not lying to myself, which is really frustrating. Um, there's been a couple times today that I felt like I should just go ahead and break. Um, and it's not even like it's been the worst struggle I've ever had, but I've been really hungry all day today which of course does not make me happy because I really want to get through every fasting day that I have. Um, I think a lot of it has to do like what I've said with the lifting on my fasting days and then my cycle getting ready to start. That of course makes me more hungry leading up to it. But I literally just, I don't want to eat, but I've been so hungry today. So I'm gonna try my best to keep from doing that and um, get through the rest of the day. I'm gonna go home and work out and um, I'm not really sure what all else I'll be able to do this evening to kind of keep me from eating. All I can do is distract myself, maybe drink a sparkling ice water, things like that that'll kind of keep me from wanting to reach for something to eat. My workout this evening will consist of an upper body workout, something that I kind of found on Instagram I'll throw together with some other stuff that I typically do on my workouts, like what I showed you guys I believe on my last vlog. Um, my hamstrings hurt so bad from the run yesterday, specifically just one leg, my left one is really sore, so I'll probably want to roll that out on the foam roller tonight to, to kind of um, help massage that muscle a little bit. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to run tomorrow morning or if I'm going to run tomorrow afternoon because I'm 
going over to my friend Hannah's house. Got to run by my mom's after work. I have things I got to do, but I also want to get in my exercise for the day, and it would be running. So I got to decide what I'm going to do on that whole thing as well. I'm almost home. So I'm going to let you guys go so I can get inside and get to working out and stuff. And I'll update you guys later on this evening and let you know what I decide to do the rest of the day and sign out of this week's vlog. I can't believe we're already almost to the end of part one. It is 8.30. My gym bag is over there packed for tomorrow, which means I'm getting up early tomorrow to go run at the work gym. Ugh would like to run outside but there's no lights out around my building and that just sounds really scary i don't want to run through our trail which i would but like i said it has no lights on it and um that just um, sounds dark and scary and i'm not about that life so uh go to work tomorrow work out there and run in the morning or whatever and then um get through my eat day which i'm excited about uh, for breakfast tomorrow, I actually scrambled up some egg whites with cheese and Nashville hot chicken seasoning that I had found. I forgot I had. I was going to add turmeric to it, but I don't have any, so I need to get some more. Um, one of my coworkers gave me some, and um, I used it all a while back, so got to get more of that. But scramble up some eggs with the seasoning, some cheese, about half a tablespoon of gay butter, and then I'm going to toast some bread, throw some mayo on it, and then put the eggs and then tomatoes on top. So that'll be my breakfast for tomorrow. For lunch, actually, my manager is going to buy me chipotle because for work on Friday, they're ordering it for everybody and I would be missing out on the opportunity. So I asked her separately if there was any way that I could still participate in this, but I would just have to do it on Thursday instead, and she said it was fine. So I get to order that tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. I'll probably just do a burrito bowl because I haven't had one of those in a really long time over tacos or anything like that. And then tomorrow night for dinner, I'm going over to my friend Hannah's house. We're gonna talk wedding stuff since she just got engaged. She's in my wedding, we gotta talk about my wedding and just hang out and she's gonna make this Sicilian cauliflower stromboli, I believe is what it was called. It's a recipe from Blue Apron and I will figure out what all the calories are whenever I'm there tomorrow because <laughs> I have no idea what they are. But that's what my day has planned up for me tomorrow. I made it through today, which is good, without eating or having any calories. So I've made it through two of my fasting days so far this week. I worked out when I came home, I did an upper body workout, which I didn't really break a sweat, which is kind of disappointing, but I worked out my arms pretty hard, so I know I did burn some calories, and I've done a lot of walking today. Um, I did, you know, some ab workouts in with my workout this evening, and um, yeah, just another day down in the books, so it was a good, good day overall. I'm glad I didn't break because I was feeling so hungry earlier, so that makes me feel a lot better because I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it, and I did. I'm probably gonna go to bed here soon anyway, just because I'm getting up so early tomorrow to work out and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign out this week's vlog. Part one has been successful. Probably noticed by now that part two is whenever I struggle most, especially on Friday evenings. And then my weekends, I tend to overeat more than what I want. So I'm going to try to be mindful about that this weekend. See what I can do to cut back on everything. Or you know, really just watch what I eat more than anything. I completely forgot, and this sounds terrible, about my grandma's birthday, which is Saturday, but both my mom and I already have things going on, so we're gonna do dinner on Sunday evening. I'm not really sure what all that's gonna entail yet. Don't know what I'll do Saturday for breakfast, but I think we'll probably eat at the food trucks out at Ian's work function. And then for dinner that night, we're going to Brewing Company for Oktoberfest. And then Sunday, I'll just kind of, uh, play things by ear and see what happens, but we'll figure all that out on the next vlog, won't we? With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you on the next one.